All right, uh, let's look at the homework one, uh, problem number seven. All right, so we want to uh, uh, see if uh, this equation specify a function, specify y as a function of x. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, as before, uh, I'm going to solve this equation for y. All right, so uh, first I'm going to get rid of um, uh, x to the negative 2. So I'm going to subtract x to the negative 2. So we have a y cubed uh, left on the left hand side. Then you have, um, uh, let's say 23 was already there. And then subtract uh, x to the negative 2. All right? And one thing I would do is uh, I don't like a negative power. So x to the negative 2 is equivalent to 1 over x squared. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. So you have a 23. And then you have uh, a minus 1 over x squared. All right. Then, you know, to get rid of uh, cubed, uh, we can just take the cube root of both sides. So y is going to be equal to right, cube root of uh, 23 minus 1 over x squared. All right? So since we have a single formula for y, so this is going to be a function. So the answer is going to be, let's see. All right, so given uh, equation is a function and the domain is, okay, so we want to find its domain. All right? So we have to think of a number, a bad x value uh, that we, we cannot plug in. All right? The only problem this function would have would be this. Since x is uh, sitting on the denominator, which means that uh, it cannot be 0. So we cannot have x equals 0. But uh, everything else uh, should be fine. Uh, cube root can take a negative value too. So we don't have to worry about the, you know, the inside expression being negative. Then only only problem is uh, having a 0 denominator. Right? So x cannot be 0 but uh, everything else is fine, all right? So we're going to just type that in. All right, to say that, all you have to do is, this is good, domain is going to be, um, right, hold on a sec, uh, let's see. Yep. All right, so domain is going to be a negative infinity to, um, zero and then you have to skip that so skip zero then all the way to positive infinity all right so let's check the answer all right got that all right that's it i hope that uh, this was clear